Well, we all know that global temperatures and sea levels are rising, and the only reason behind this mess is us. Low-lying coastal cities are already getting hit with devastating floods, and the situation is only getting worse. Some cities are drowning under the slow but relentless creep of rising tides, while others are sinking from within, thanks to excessive groundwater pumping that weakens the land beneath them. The scariest part is that millions of people live in these places, and if they go under, there's no telling where they'll go or what chaos will follow. Here are 15 cities that will sink because of the rising oceans, and time is running out. Let's start off with Number 15, Miami, USA. Miami isn't just the place for neon lights, beach parties, and overpriced cocktails. It's also ground zero for sea level rise in the United States. The city is drowning under some of the fastest rising waters in the world. Floods aren't just an occasional inconvenience. They're now contaminating drinking water, wrecking infrastructure, and making the real estate market one giant gamble. Scientists predict that by 2050, Miami Beach could be more beach than city, swallowed by rising tides. Jeff Goodell, an environmental journalist, put it bluntly, Miami is the poster child for a major city in big trouble. And he's not being dramatic. Well, maybe just a little. But the facts are chilling. Some experts say Miami may not even exist by the end of the century, a statement that sounds straight out of a tsunami movie. But the worst part? The government can't afford to save it. Sandbags and seawalls might buy time, but unless Miami learns how to float, its days are numbered. Number 14. Amsterdam, Netherlands. Amsterdam has always had a complicated relationship with water. After all, much of the Netherlands is already below sea level. For centuries, the Dutch have fought off the ocean with a complex system of dams, levees, and floodgates that are more advanced than most sci-fi movies. But even the best defenses may not be enough this time. Rising sea levels are pushing harder against Amsterdam's defenses, and scientists predict that in the next 10 to 20 years, the North Sea could overtake parts of the city. The Dutch are literal experts at flood prevention, but maintaining their high-tech water management systems is becoming a never-ending expensive battle. Amsterdam, famous for its canals, historic bridges, and, let's be very honest, legalized fun, could soon be making headlines for a different reason. Being one of the first major European capitals to face serious flooding threats. If the sea keeps rising, the Netherlands might not just have to hold back the ocean, they may have to rethink their entire way of life. Number 13. Bangkok, Thailand Thailand's capital isn't just sinking, it's doing it faster than almost any city on Earth. Sitting at just 1.5 meters above sea level, Bangkok is essentially a giant sponge soaking up trouble. It's losing about 2 to 3 centimeters per year, which might not sound like much, but give it a few decades, and parts of the city could be under permanently. By 2030, rising seas, persistent monsoons, and the city's soft, clay-heavy soil could submerge major districts, including Tha Kham, Samut Prakan, and even Suvarnabhumi International Airport. You know, the main way in and out of Thailand. For a country where many already struggle to make ends meet, floods are making things even worse, wiping out homes, disrupting food supply chains, and creating economic chaos. Despite efforts like the Chulalongkorn Centenary Park, an urban flood control project, Bangkok's fate seems inevitable. Scientists warn that by the end of this century, the entire city might be underwater. Unless Thailand pulls off a miracle, Bangkok could go from the Venice of the East to just the ocean floor. So, if you have a future vacation trip plan, visit soon. Number 12. Georgetown, Guyana Georgetown might be known for its colonial charm and rich history, but it's also one of the top nine coastal cities most likely to disappear by 2030. Sitting precariously between the Demerara River and the Atlantic Ocean, it's dangerously exposed to rising sea levels. 
The entire Guyanese coastline is practically below high tide, meaning even a slight ocean rise could spell disaster for the country's capital. For centuries, massive sea walls, stretching 280 miles, have been Georgetown's main defense against the encroaching ocean. But now, they might not be enough. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the city faces a dual threat, sinking land and rising tides. If Georgetown doesn't reinforce its defenses fast, it could be partially underwater within a decade. With 90% of Guyana's population living along the coast, this isn't just about one city, it's about an entire nation fighting to stay above water. Whether they pull off a scientific miracle or Mother Nature has the last word, time is running out. Number 11. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam's buzzing metropolis, isn't just thriving along the Mekong Delta, it's also slowly drowning in it. The very waterways that once made this region so fertile and prosperous are now turning against it. Relentless flooding, intense monsoons, and rising sea levels are putting entire districts on the brink of becoming unlivable. Scientists warn that the flat, swampy lands of Thu Thiem are at the highest risk, with projections suggesting some areas could be fully submerged by 2030. And while the city center might stay afloat for a little longer, it won't be spared, especially with climate change intensifying the already brutal monsoon seasons. For a city so deeply tied to agriculture and river commerce, these changes are catastrophic. Farms, homes, and livelihoods are on the line. And for those who can't afford to relocate, they'll be left to wade through an uncertain future, quite literally, and it's all because of us. Number 10. Jakarta, Indonesia Jakarta is sinking under its own weight, dropping up to 6.7 inches per year due to uncontrolled groundwater pumping. If this trend continues, much of the city could be underwater by 2050. The irony? Well, Jakarta is already one of the most flood-prone cities in the world, battling heavy monsoons, coastal erosion, and poor drainage systems that turn streets into rivers. The situation is so dire that the Indonesian government is giving up on it. Officials have greenlit a $33 billion plan to move the nation's capital to Borneo, about 100 miles away from the sinking disaster that is Jakarta. But can an entire city of 10 million residents be saved just by relocating government buildings? Even if the capital moves, millions will still be left behind, bracing for a future where the land beneath them is quite literally disappearing. Jakarta isn't just sinking, it's running out of time. Number 9. Alexandria, Egypt Alexandria, the ancient jewel of the Mediterranean, is slowly crumbling under the weight of time and water. The city sits precariously on the Nile Delta, an area that has been eroding for centuries. But now, thanks to rising sea levels, overpopulation and land subsidence, Alexandria is at risk of being swallowed by the sea. A 2018 study predicts that by 2100, over 1,000 square miles of land in northern Egypt could be underwater. That's not just a number, it means mass displacement, loss of fertile farmland, destruction of infrastructure, and severe saltwater contamination. With a population of 5.7 million people, Alexandria's fate is tied to the fragile balance of land and water. To combat the crisis, Egypt has begun reinforcing coastal defenses, but these efforts may not be enough. Without drastic action, one of the world's most historic cities could fade beneath the waves, just like the ancient ruins it was built upon. Number 8. Dhaka, Bangladesh Do you love this country? Well, we do. It has awesome food. But Dhaka isn't just sinking. It's drowning in a crisis it didn't even cause. Bangladesh contributes only a fraction of the world's carbon emissions, yet it is one of the hardest hit countries by climate change. Sitting at the edge of the Ganges Delta, Dhaka is trapped between rising seas and relentless flooding. Scientists warn that by 2050, about 17% of Bangladesh's coastal land could be submerged, 
displacing millions of people. With one of the highest population densities in the world, Dhaka is absorbing many of these climate refugees, pushing its already fragile infrastructure to the breaking point. The flooding isn't just from the outside. Subsidence is making things worse. The land is sinking beneath the city, and every storm pushes more people out of their homes. The future for Dhaka is a stark one. Adapt fast, or risk becoming one of the first major capitals lost to climate change. Number 7. Houston, Texas Houston's sinking problem isn't just about rising seas, it's man-made. Decades of groundwater pumping and oil and gas extraction have caused massive land subsidence, shifting the very foundation of the city. Some parts of Houston have sunk by nearly 10 feet, and the region continues to drop. The Houston-Galveston area is now one of the largest subsidence zones in the U.S., and the consequences are obvious. Frequent flooding, cracked roads, infrastructure failures, and even disappearing wetlands are now part of daily life. The San Jacinto battleground, where Texas won its independence, is now partially underwater. History quite literally sinking. Climate change is exacerbating Houston's sinking with stronger storms and rising sea levels. With hurricanes growing more intense, floodwaters aren't just a temporary inconvenience anymore. They're reshaping the city's landscape for good. Houston is learning the hard way that when you drain the land dry, it collapses beneath you. Now, let's talk about Number 6. Kolkata, India Kolkata, home to the legendary Durga Pujo festival, bustling street markets, and some of India's richest cultural heritage, is sinking fast. The city is no stranger to extreme weather, but what's coming next could change it forever. Scientists predict devastating floods could make large parts of Kolkata uninhabitable by 2030. For a city that's already battling poverty, rapid urbanization, and infrastructure strain, this is an existential crisis. The wealth gap means that while the city's elite might be able to escape the worst of it, millions of working-class residents will be left to deal with floods, disease outbreaks, and collapsing homes. The Indian government is under immense pressure to act, because if Kolkata continues to sink at this rate, it's not just about losing buildings. It's about losing a cultural and historical hub that has stood the test of time until now. Number 5. New Orleans, USA New Orleans is known for its jazz, its food, and its legendary resilience, but even that might not be enough to save it from the sea. Parts of the city are sinking as fast as two inches per year, making it one of the fastest sinking major cities in the world. When New Orleans was first built in the 1800s, it was 100% above sea level. Fast forward to today, more than half of it sits below water, with some areas already 15 feet below sea level. The infamous levee system, designed to protect the city, has been pushed to its limits, and rising ocean levels aren't slowing down. NASA predicts that New Orleans could be entirely submerged by the end of the century. Areas around Lake Moripa, Lake Salvador, and Jean Lafitte Wildlife Preserve are already vanishing and hurricane season only accelerates the destruction. For a city built on culture, soul, and resilience, the battle against nature isn't over yet, but it's a fight they can't afford to lose. Number 4. Lagos, Nigeria Lagos is a city caught between rising seas and a swelling population, and both are closing in fast. Sitting on a sinking continental shelf, the city faces coastal erosion, worsening floods, and food insecurity as the Gulf of Guinea creeps closer. At the same time, the Sahara Desert is expanding, squeezing Nigeria from the north. As Africa's largest city, Lagos is home to over 20 million people, many of whom already struggle with poor drainage, overcrowding, and weak infrastructure. Scientists warn that without urgent action, millions could be displaced in the coming years, forced to flee from a city that is slowly disappearing beneath the waves. With its economy and coastline at risk, Lagos must act fast to combat rising waters. 
The question isn't if the ocean will reclaim parts of the city, it's how soon and how many people it will leave behind. Number 3. Venice, Italy Venice is slowly sinking into the Adriatic Sea, and it's happening faster than expected. The city, famous for its romantic canals and historic architecture, is now known for something else, relentless flooding. The Italian government began construction of Mose, a $6.5 billion flood barrier system, in 2003. It was supposed to be completed by 2011, but delays and corruption pushed it back over a decade. Meanwhile, Venice saw some of its worst floods in decades, with 2018 storms submerging nearly the entire city. Venice sinks at 0.08 inches per year, and while Mose finally became operational in 2020, it's still a band-aid on a worsening problem. Rising seas and land subsidence mean Venice's long-term survival is uncertain. Without stronger defenses, one of the world's most beloved cities could become a modern Atlantis. Number 2. Charleston, South Carolina Charleston's southern charm might not be enough to save it from the Atlantic Ocean. This historic city, known for cobblestone streets, antebellum mansions, and vibrant culture, is sinking at 0.16 inches per year, one of the fastest rates on the East Coast. By 2050, scientists predict sea levels will rise by 10 to 14 inches, putting downtown Charleston, just three meters above sea level, at serious risk. Flooding is already a growing problem, with coastal erosion eating away beaches and high tides turning streets into waterways. NASA Earth Observatory warns that human activity, like groundwater pumping, is accelerating the problem. If this continues, Charleston's iconic coastal homes, beaches, and historic landmarks could vanish within 50 years. For a city that thrives on tourism and coastal beauty, the future is pretty uncertain. Number 1. Basra, Iraq Basra might not be the first city that comes to mind when you think of places threatened by rising sea levels, but it should be. Sitting along the Shat al-Arab River, which feeds into the Persian Gulf, this Iraqi port city is dealing with a sinking crisis of its own. The land around Basra is soft and marshy, making it extra vulnerable. Scientists warn that parts of the city could be completely underwater in just 10 years. That's a terrifyingly short timeline for a city that's already struggling with waterborne diseases, economic hardship, and political instability. For the people of Basra, rising seas aren't just about losing land, they're about losing livelihoods, homes, and access to clean water. And unlike wealthier nations that can afford billion-dollar flood control projects, Basra's government isn't exactly rolling in cash. If floodwaters continue to rise, the city's future might be sealed in salt water. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you pretty soon in the next one.